еще положили. Bill here in Baikonur on a Sunday. Uh, this pad has not seen a manned Soyuz launch for 28 years. But today a beehive of activity, a reaction to the rollout and what lies ahead over the next two days. It's been an absolutely beautiful day for the rollout today. The weather is just uh, perfect. Um, watching the sunrise here on the rocket is just phenomenal to see this. Um, I look at the launch pad, I look at the preparation, I look at the teams here that are getting ready to go launch this rocket, and I just have the utmost respect for them and the work they're, they're doing to get this rocket ready to go to the space station. Two pads now in working in tandem for uh, not only manned Soyuz operations, but uh, progress launches and other launches that uh, Roscosmos has on its docket. Um, how about the workload? You've talked to the Russians. Uh, how are they handling all this? 
I mean, they're doing very good. Uh, this is a busy time. We've got this launch here, and then we'll have the progress launch, and then follow that with another Soyuz launch and a landing in there and an EVA. So if you look at this this time frame on board Space Station, it's a pretty pretty busy time. Again, the teams have done a tremendous job of sorting through things to, to figure out how to work in the EVA. We've got the Dragon undocking also during this time frame and the, the Dragon return as well as this launch. So it's a dynamic time, but, but Space Station is still doing a tremendous amount of research, lots of investigations going on. You know, on this Soyuz here that sits on the launch pad, there'll be some uh, Madaka fish launched up to the space station, and those will they, they'll be uh, housed in an aquarium on board the space station, and they'll give us another chance to see another uh, animal operate in the microgravity environment and see what we can learn from that from a research standpoint. So busy time operationally, lots of stuff going on, but also lots of great research being done on board the space station. And a final question, Bill. Uh, Adding this EVA for Sonny Williams and Akihushi Day up on the station on November 1st to uh, basically replumb the cooling channel on the station. In addition to all this visiting vehicle traffic that is just almost like an air traffic control in the, at an airport would, would face, is this the new normal for the space station? You know, again, I think in space you got to be prepared, you got to be flexible to deal with what, what you get. You know, it's a tribute to the team. They saw this problem in the cooling system and they worked out a very effective way to go uh, start troubleshooting and isolating that potential problem with the cooling system. You know, we didn't have to do it right now. We had some time we could do it later, but this is probably the right time to get it done to make sure that we keep station functional. So, again, the teams balance a lot of objectives, a lot of different things. They figure out the right thing to do at the right time and put it in place. The planners in Houston, the, the support people here in, in Russia, you know, they look at this as an integrated activity and they find the best way to, to put things together and move forward. So again, I, I think as you see us learning to really live and operate in space, this is probably the way it's going to be in the future. Bob Bankin, NASA's chief astronaut. Uh, Bob, uh, here in Baikonur, um, so you is ready to go, ready to take Kevin and his Russian crewmates to orbit. Certainly. Uh, you've talked to Kevin uh, over the last several days. Uh, how is he doing? How is the final stage of training? Uh, the final stage of training for the entire crew is going on just excellent. Uh, we spent yesterday morning going over the final search and rescue plan as well as the ballistic profile so that the crew had all the final information and uh, they had no questions and everything proceeded well. So Kevin's doing well. I spent a couple hours discussing the mission itself and uh, his role as he gets on board Space Station and potentially prepares for both a spacewalk and the release of the Dragon spacecraft. So he's looking forward to it. I, that was going to be my next question, launching into one of the busiest weeks, first weeks, for a, a new expedition crew member that we've seen. How can the time possibly be balanced to get Kevin prepared uh, to tackle this right, right out of the box? We've done a, several special things to try to get Kevin as prepared as possible. We had uh, Joe Acaba, the most recently returning uh, Soyuz uh, space station crew member, spend some time with Kevin in Star City uh, when he came back for his landing ceremony, his uh, post-flight ceremony. That was really good for Kevin to get some of the handover activities handled between him and Joe on the ground prior to arriving on space station. Uh, Kevin's got a, a series of procedures uh, in his hands to review in preparation for a potential upcoming spacewalk, so that's another Another thing that we've done to try to best prepare him to jump into this very busy time. So uh, the combination of that and the, uh, the change in the uh, return date for the crew uh, for Sonny and Aki and, uh, and Yuri when they return on the uh, 19th of November I believe is uh, what's uh, per the schedule right now. All that has uh, put us in a pretty good position to step into this busy time.